Hey guys, it's Roy here from our local 12 and EpicDroid.com, bringing to you today a review on a new case for the Pixel XL. This case is the SEMO Wave. It is a premium slim protective cover for the Google Pixel XL, and it goes for about $8 on Amazon. But we're going to go and we're going to look at this case today, and we're going to see what we got and see what we think by the time we're done here. So I've already opened it up, and I've actually already been using the uh, case for a couple of days here. And i got to tell you guys, I actually am very impressed with this case. It does have a few things that I'm not a big fan of, but overall, I do like this case, and it is a case I think I'm going to recommend. So let me show you guys here why. So the first thing we have, it is a see-through case for the most part. It does have this milky aspect to it here in a wave uh, pattern. So it does kind of have that cool effect and it makes the device stand out a little bit more than it would just with the standard back. But we're gonna go ahead and put it on here. Now, one thing I do wanna point out is this bottom is pretty thin. As far as the TPU case goes, it is a little bit thinner. As you can see, it's got a lot of extra give here right around the cutouts. And I believe that's by design, but it does make it so that when you put the case on, it works best if you put it on from the bottom and then you just slide the other ends around it on the corners and then it goes right on if you do it the other way then it gets stuck and these ends like collapse and it just gives you a lot of grief there but as you can see it goes right on there it looks great it has that mostly see-through piece here on the wave and then it does have the see-through piece here so it does show off the natural beauty of the pixel XL on its own and it but it also gives it that extra look here that I, I do enjoy. Now, one thing you can see here is on this clear piece, there's a little smudge right there. And as I pushed on it, you can see it a little bit more, but I don't know why it does that, but it almost looks like there's moisture that's trapped between the case and the phone. I can tell you that I have cleaned this out about 3000 times trying to get rid of it, and I have not been able to do so. So there is something in particular about this case, just on that top piece, where it does give it that little smudgy moisture trapped look that drives me nuts um, and that right there is probably the one biggest downside to this case but as far as the rest of the case goes it does have a raised bezel or a raised edge around the edge of the phone here so that if it were to fall down flat on the face it does give it that extra protection i mean it's not a huge bezel so it's not going to give it a ton of protection but it does give it enough to drop it from i mean to protect it from a short fall or a short drop uh, here on the bottom we have those cutouts that i was mentioning earlier as you can see they are well sized um, they are a little bit big on the usb-c port but that does give you a little bit extra room for a usb-c charger that has a larger head um, it also has the cutouts on the speaker and i'm sorry the speaker and the microphone they are a little bit larger than necessary and so things may get stuck in there i mean if you have it in your pocket you may like your keys could potentially get stuck in there. I have not had any problems with that, but then again, you don't normally put your phone in the same pocket as you would your keys. Um, but the ports are a little bit on the bigger side, but they do give you the protection that you need around it, while at the same time giving it the room to breathe that it would need. Um, here on the side, you have your power button and you have your volume up and your volume down. You have no issues with those. They work great. Um, they are raised so that they are, and they not only are they raised, but they are also textured, so they do stand out there from the rest of the case and give you a good feel for where that is. Here on the top, you have the headphone jack, and it is a great size cutout, and it does have it so it goes down a little bit on the back so that you can use a right angle plug if you want and not have any issues there. Now, one thing I did notice about that is that the case, because it is a little bit thinner here on the top with that microphone, it does push out just a teensy bit and it's not much it's not something that most people would even notice but it does go up just a little bit there just around the edge because of that tension on that little thin piece where the headphone jack um, meets the front or the bezel there so again nothing super bad but it could be something that would drive you crazy like this part here drives me crazy but then my favorite feature of the case beyond the wave uh, look here but my favorite feature is here on the sides and you guys can kind of see it it's a little bit harder to see on the camera but here is a grippy texture and it's almost like sandpaper now it's not as rough as sandpaper but it has a great grip to that and if you're using this case you are never going to drop your phone and that's good because it does provide some protection but it's not a huge amount of protection but with this case i can promise you you're never going to drop it because of that grip there as long as well i guess you're never going to drop it as long as you're holding it right but uh and so it does provide a great amount of grip there and for a right-handed person it works really well because it fits right here on the palm um, or whatever that is uh, at the bottom of your thumb base of your thumb so it does fit right there and it fits comfortably in the palm of your hand as well as against your fingers so overall I think this is a great case I really do like the case um, it, it is a case that I think I would recommend to just about anybody um, it's not your most durable case it's not the most protective case but it is a good looking case minus a few little flaws there like I said with that one piece here again Again, that could just be this particular case or it could be my phone um, but it does provide a good level of protection it doesn't get in the way of the use 
usage of the phone and overall I think it just looks great. So would I recommend this case? Absolutely. It goes for about $8 on Amazon and for $8 you are getting a pretty good case for a pretty good price and it also qualifies for Amazon Prime shipping so you can get it for the $8 without any additional shipping. Uh, if you guys don't have Amazon Prime I will have a link in the description below so you can get a free 30 day trial. I will also have a link to the case in the description below so that you can order this case if you would like it. If you have any questions please feel free to hit us up in the comments and we'll see what we can do to answer those for you and as always we just want to tell you guys thank you for watching thank you for your support and you all have an awesome day.